what's going on everyone you're welcome once again to the every day the channel all right so on today's video we're going to be talking about snowflake schema a modeling style in dimensional modeling in our previous video we talked about dimensional modeling we also talked about data modeling as a whole and also talked about the star schema in today's video we're going to be talking about snowflake schema which is another form of dimensional modeling if you missed our previous video on star schema or dimensional modeling you can check that in the link above and the link in the description below as well. If you're a new, a, a new viewer or you're a returning viewer, thanks so much. I'm really excited to have you here. Please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can get notified once a new content drops in on this channel. All right, so let's go down to today's video. So what is a snowflake schema? A snowflake schema is a type of a dimensional model that is more complex than the star schema. In your snowflake schema, you tend to have your dimensions broken down into sub dimensions. So how does this work? A snowflake schema typically consists of a fact table and several dimension tables. Your fact table containing your measures and your dimensions table containing your attributes of those facts. If you are not clear about facts and dimensions, you can check out the video in the link above and link in the description below as well that explains more about facts and dimensions. And um, let's say your sales table is your facts table and then your product or your customer table is your dimension tables. Now for your snowflake schema, your dimensions tables or your dimensions are broken down into sub dimensions. Say for example, a product dimension is subdivided into sub dimensions like a uh, product category, product class as the case may be or let's say a customer dimension is so broken down into other dimensions like the customer address uh customer demographic right that's sort of a thing so basically um your your just like your star schema has one um fact table and several dimensions outside of your fact table simply um but then your snowflake schema has a fact table and dimension tables that have sub dimensions that's really how your um, that's really what your snowflake schema is all about. Just as your star schema um, looks like a star, one fact with several dimensions, your snowflake um, schema looks like a snowflake, uh, like a, a snowflake stuff, right? That snowflake image with one branch and then several several children, like sub sub dimensions. That's really the idea of a snowflake schema and really how it does work. So when are you advised to use a snowflake schema, or when can you use a snowflake schema as opposed to a um, star schema? So when should you use a snowflake schema? A snowflake schema is a good choice when you want to have more granularity in your dimensional model. So if you want to like to if you like to drill down to get some more information about your sales um, by product brand, product type, product class, and case may be, and you want to be able to drill down in these different parameters, say a snowflake schema may be a better option for you in your dimensional model as opposed to a star schema. What are some advantages of using a snowflake schema? One of the obvious advantages of a snowflake schema is granularity, right? You are able to drill down by different categories or rather by different sub-dimensions of that dimension. Another advantage of snowflake schema is its flexibility. Snowflake schemas are more flexible than, than, than um, star schemas. Reason because you can easily add new dimensions or sub-dimensions to existing dimensions as is required in your dimensional model and another benefit of snowflake schema would be e-scalability you can easily scale up your dimensions you want to add new sub dimensions to an existing dimension you can easily just add those dimensions and without breaking anything and you can just scale and scale up as the case may be what are drawbacks of um so then what are the drawbacks of snowflake schemas so there are a few drawbacks when using snowflake schema and one of those drawbacks are complexity. Your snowflake schema are usually more complex than your star schema. And um, it may become really difficult to design or implement in your dimensional modeling. And that drawback would be performance. Reason is because you'd have to do several joins as from one fact to several other dimensions to get a particular information. And then having those amount of joins or subquery could affect performance of your data model or your queries as the case may be. So in this video we'll discuss what a snowflake schema is, little difference between a snowflake and the star schema, benefits of snowflake schema and some drawbacks of star schema. I hope you got a thing or two out of this video. If you liked the video and it explains these jargons to you, please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button as well. Thanks so much for watching. See you again in the next video. Bye for now.